Hallelujah to Jesus. We bless the name of the Lord for another wonderful and triumphant day granted unto us by the grace of God. Today I pray for you by the authority of the word of the living God. That today may the grace of God speak for you because grace will refer you to unmerited favor of God that is given unto all humanity. And every condition and every prerequisite will come under your authority. When grace speaks, every step that is taken in order will be your triumphant victory. Your road may be rough today, but your immediate expectation will be lifted up by the grace of God because the grace of God will speak for you. When grace speaks, laws and irrelevant merit and needless connections become useless and protocols are suspended. The grace of God will speak for you always in the name of the Lord Jesus and today may the grace of God speak for you. May God bring transformation into every area of your life and may God transfer unto you His goodness, His mercies in everything that you do this very day pray for you that may the covenant of the Lord speak for you and may God destroy every covenant of voices that are speaking against you, against your family, that are causing your family to become irrelevant, to become powerless, to become insignificant. Let the voice of the Lord speak for you according to Hebrews chapter 8 and verse 9. This morning I pray by the grace of God and by the authority in the word of God in Acts chapter 8 and verse 9. Every work and every voice of sorcery and bewitchment against you and your family. Anyone that is using sorcery and bewitchment against you, against your children, against the work of your hands, against your progress and against your stability. Let that power be broken and destroyed by the power of the blood of Jesus. Today I pray for you according to the word of the living God in Jeremiah chapter 8 and verse 9. That you and your family shall not see shame, but you and your family will triumph this very day. Anything that is risen against your life, anything propagated to destroy your favor, to destroy your peace, your joy, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, let the power of the blood of the Lamb break it for your sake this morning. Whoever will rise against you in any jurisdiction of life, today may they fall by the hand of the Lord. May Isaiah chapter 8 and verse 9 speak for you. May God break in pieces every gathering and every powers against you and your family. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Today I pray with you that Nehemiah chapter 8 and verse 9 will speak for you. It says, you and your family shall not mourn. You will not weep in the name of the Lord Jesus. But everything that is good will come your way this very day. I pray by the authority of the word of the living God in Ezra chapter 9 verse 8. That every form of bondage or power trying to put you and into bondage and destroy you, may the mercy of God and may the mercy of God extend towards you and upon your family. May goodness and the blessing and the favor of God and may good things come into your life this very day. This is your day that the Lord will elevate you. This is your day that the Lord will dry away your tears. This is your day that the weeping is over. This is the day of your recovery for your healing. This is the day of new adventure. This is the day of a new horizon in your life. May the Lord show you his handiwork. You are blessed and you are highly favored. All things shall work together for your good this day. In Jesus' name, I pray with you. Amen. This is Apostle Dr. Jerry Otin from Global Harvest Ministries Worldwide. And remember, you are a property of the Holy Ghost. And Satan, back off. In Jesus' name.